Welcome back to the Dover Bridge. This is the November 29th update. We're at the end of the quarantine's first stage. Consolidation in the embankment has taken place. The Omega Trestle extends out to allow work on Pier 12. Steel pipes are driven for 12, 11, 10, and 9. Piers 8, 7, and 6 are receiving their concrete casings in various stages of being capped. Pier 5 is being capped and Pier 4 is next. Pier 3's base is being constructed and Pier 1's in good shape. Work continues on the Tolba County side embankment. The Omega Trestle with coffer dams on top of it is used during construction to provide hard limits of disturbance during the construction of the piers. Pier 8 is formed up for a concrete cap. Piers 7 and 6 are nearing completion. And the safety rails are on Pier 6. Pier 5 is wrapped as the concrete cures. Work continues on Pier 3 near the center with the concrete forms being placed around its perimeter. December 9th. Embankment construction has resumed as the first quarantine ends. The high strength geotextile is in place. The select bar is being placed in layers to reduce strain within the embankment. The select borrow is harvested from the future mitigation site in Caroline County. Stockpiles of various classifications of material are organized for easy access. Pier 4 is ready for its concrete cap. Pier 3 has had its pile cap exposed and the work on the Talba County embankment side continues. The high strength geotextile is visible as they place another layer of select burrow on top. Here we approach it from the west side, coming up on the geo, high strength geotextile. The workers are placing the geotextile, making sure it's overlapped properly. We're looking at Pier 3 from the west side. Pier 4 is now receiving this concrete cap. Pier 5 is in good shape. Piers 6, 7, and 8 have their concrete. 9, 10, and 11, and 12 are in various stages preparing for their concrete pier caps. Stay tuned for future updates.